Hi, this is Andra, the Riverworks Discovery Coordinator, coming to you from the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium in Dubuque, Iowa. Have you ever seen a barge on your local river? Barges are large, flat-bottom boats, 195 feet long and up to 35 feet wide. They're pretty big. They have to be that large so that they can float their heavy cargoes up to 2,000 tons. How does being so large help them float these heavy cargoes? Today, we're gonna look at volume, mass, and density, and learn how that determines what sinks and what floats. Our first experiment today uses two cans of soda. They have the same volume. Volume is the amount of space that an object takes up. First, we have our can of regular soda, and then we have a can of diet soda. Do you have any guesses as to which one might sink and which one might float? First, we're gonna take our regular soda and see what happens. It sinks. Now we'll take our diet soda. It floats. The can of regular soda sinks to the bottom because it has more mass than the can of diet soda. The diet soda does not contain sugar and the sugar gives the regular can more mass weighed down by gravity. Our next experiment looks at what happens when two objects have the same mass but different volumes. I have two identical pieces of clay. This one we've made into a ball and this one we've made into a rectangle. Let's see which one floats. That one sinks. And that one floats. Both pieces of clay have the same amount of mass, but different volumes. Our rectangle takes up a greater area of space and spreads that mass around, which helps it to float. The ball is small and compact, which means it has a higher density than the water it displaces. Neither volume nor mass alone determine whether something will sink or float, but the ratio of the two, that's called density. The area of, on a barge that holds the cargo is called a hopper. It's a rectangle, much like our clay rectangle. Surrounding it are 10 airtight containers. All of these things come together to help make the barge less dense than the water around it, letting it float its cargo. Thank you for joining Riverworks Discovery today to learn about volume, mass, and density.